another stage analysis video. Um, this is the daily update. Not sure if I'm going to do videos for these all the time as it takes ages, but we'll see how we go. Okay, this is from tonight's watch list stocks on Monday, 6th of January 2020. So I'm just going to go through through the watch list stocks. So the first one is CAE. See, so it's making a little stage two continuation breakout attempt. Go to the daily chart, a bit more clear. It's attempting to break out above a small cup and handle pattern. Relative strength is fairly average at the moment after consolidating for a good five or six months. Okay, what's next? Cyber, C I B R, which is Cyber Security ETF. There's a couple of these in the watch list tonight. There's hacks in the watch list as well, both of which are breaking out to new highs. So clearly the stocks in the sector are getting some attention. Yeah, again, we've got some volume, a little bit of above average volume. Break with that. Close above above the 52-week high. Said so the relative performance isn't brilliant on the ETF, but it is an ETF. So, so have a look at the individual stocks as they're likely to be outperforming. Coop, we looked at this one at the weekend. Let's go down to the daily again. See on the daily, it's two days of above average volume to break out to new highs, so this one looking very good with a nice volatility contraction over the last few months. So. D-Dog is a fairly new issue, it's only been only IPO'd in September, let's go down to the daily, again got some volume after recent consolidation in December, it's only just broken above the December high. Well, it's not the December high, but it's attempting to move higher again. So it's interesting. DT. I saw this one at the weekend. I'm not sure if I put it in the watch list or not, but it's broken out to new highs today. Let's go down to the daily. A strong breakout today, 10% move. Clear close above the recent recent high in the IPO high. So relative strength is also near the highs, so with some volume. So yeah, looking good. EHTH. Yeah, this one's had a fairly steady grind up since October. It's made a consolidating sideways for a few weeks, attempting to make a breakout again. FEYE, this is one of the cybersecurity stocks that we talked about. Generally tends to underperform the rest of the sector, though, I've noticed over the years. I have to have a look at some of the other cybersecurity stocks and see what's going on in them. Let's get down to the daily. Uh, yeah, it did get a small volume pop to close above its recent high. It's above its 200 day and 50 day. Relative performance is just starting to outperform the S&P 500. Hack, this is the cybersecurity ETF again. As we said, it's breaking out to new highs, same as cyber was. Move down to the daily, this one got some volume. Looks like about three or four times the average daily volume. Close at a new new high for at least the last nine months or so. INSG, again new high. After consolidating for the last four weeks with a strong strong breakout in December. Down to the daily. 
Yeah, strong breakout with some volume. It's quite a minnow as it's only eight dollars, but that's a good good continuation breakout pattern. INSP again been consolidating near the highs in December. Looks like it's attempting to make a continuation breakout. It's not got there yet, but we've got a kind of cup and handle pattern of a high handle with it closing quite near the top of the range. Strong volume on the day. Good relative volume. Uh, good relative performance versus the S&P 500. So again, looks interesting. Geld, J E L D. Again, this made a stage two. You see, we made a stage two A breakout back here. Fairly weak breakout. The volume didn't set the world alight. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, average. Fairly average volume on the breakout, but it's managed to grind higher and pull back and has attempted to move higher again. Let's look at the daily. So yeah, nice strong volume on the daily breakout. So this one's looking interesting now. It's an early stage 2A stock. Breaking out to new highs. J-O-U-T. Looks like potential for a stage 2 breakout. You could argue it's already in stage 2 here with this breakout. Although I prefer not to, when the stocks are in stage two, I don't, this kind of range around here isn't very, very useful. It's, it's not, not the kind of pattern I'd like to see. Right, the performance is good though. So look at it on the daily. Looks a bit better on the daily. It's had a nice sideways range. After it's, maybe that was an earnings pop. Normally get a, a gap on earnings like that. So it looks like it's attempted to make a continuation breakout. So it could be moving into stage two. MIME, again, attempting to move into stage two. Relative performance has not been good. It's been underperforming. But the pattern is looking interesting. So with it just breaking out above its 200 day and its recent highs, it might be worth a look. No, it's quite an early one. MVST. This one's attempted to break out to new highs. Yep, fairly new issue. It's made a new closing high. Not really too much to say. Relative performance is, you can't tell if it's outperforming yet because we don't have a moving average, but it's fairly near its highs, so looks like it's in good shape for a new issue. We formed a cup of a cup and handle pattern, so it may, may need to go sideways for a little bit to consolidate, or it may continue. But a lot of the time that depends on the market condition at the time. Let's we'll see. Plug. Trade this one a few times in the past. It's quite a small single-digit midget, as they like to call them. But I think, I think that's what Stan called them. I can't remember where I got that from. But yeah, we had a strong pop on some news, I believe. I think I heard something about a big order, which popped up the volume. So, but yeah, that's at least three or four times its average daily volume on this on this move. And it's moving out towards its new, towards its highs. It's above a rise in 50-day MA and other key moving averages. So with strong relative performance, so it's looking good. This WCH. This one's an interesting pattern. It had a fairly steady grind up in stage two during 2019. It's been consolidating since September with gradual flag sort of pattern but with volatility contraction. Let's zoom in on the daily. As you can see it's been consolidating around the 50 day MA and it's bounced off the 150. Probably the 30 week if we go back to the weekly. Yeah it's been on the 30 week. 
So this one, uh, highlighting this one because some strong volume coming into this after a bounce off of the 30 day, um, 30 week moving average and it's 50 day. So potential for a continuation attempt in this one after such a good move in 2019. Team. This one has had very strong stage two run for many years. It's been consolidating for the last year or so and it's back is below its fate week moving average at the moment. So it's stage three stock at the moment. However, you see it on the daily. You see it got a good pop back above its two hundred day moving average. So this one looks like it could have potential to make a stage two continuation attempt. Could obviously go the other way still, but the signs at the moment are fairly interesting. It could go, yeah. TRGP. This one's a um, stage one B stock. Haven't quite cleared the stage two A breakout level yet. Relative performance just about moving in line with the market now. It's Got a strong one year base here, a few tests, higher low. So we class this as stage 1B. So, so yeah, as you can see, it's broken above the recent high, but it's not yet cleared stage 2A breakout level. But yeah, it's one to watch. TTD, nice little cup and potential handle pattern there. Let's have a look on the daily. It's a rising handle. Not, don't really like the pattern as much. Further the handle to consolidate or sideways or slightly down as it comes back after a cup pattern, but. It's trading near its highs, relative performance is good, nothing on the volume yet, so one to watch for a potential continuation move. VNet, just starting to outperform, it's making a stage 2A breakout attempt here, as you can see above this level here, 30 week moving average starting to, starting to rise, so the volume it's only had a single day, it's already done around its average volume. So this one's got potential. So it's a big move in a week. So well, over two weeks probably. So yeah, one to watch. See if it can close the week and meet the criteria. We look for two times the weekly average volume on stage two A breakouts. So it can if it can hold and close near the close near its highs, well, more than two times average volume, then it's a potential one to take a look at. VRNS again, a nice consolidation pattern over the last month near its highs, with rising 50-day MA and rising 30-week. So, see we've got a bit of a volatility contraction pattern. Over a long period, it's a good two year base almost, but a two year raised base. So zoom in on the daily. Yeah, it's actually potentially these two bars are fairly irrelevant because they were pops, so they're more noise bars. So it's actually making a breakout now. So volume was below average low, so it's not much interest in it yet, but definitely one to watch. Okay, okay, that's the lot. For um, for the daily watch list, come to stageanalysis.net and have a good day.